You're such an asshole. Assholeconsulting.com got kind of an interesting uh, request for a clarity test request on two people, Jim Rogers and Jeff Berwick. I know Jeff Berwick. <laughs> I, I went bumming around with him in Dallas. I don't know if he remembers. That was when his drinking days. But I had rented a, uh, we went to this economic seminar, and he was one of the speakers, as was I, and a couple other people. And I had rented a Ford Mustang GT because I wanted one. And I was like, oh, I can't wait. And, yeah, him, me, and a couple other guys. Yeah, and Andrew Hendrickson. Nomad capitalist, yeah, I remember him and me and uh, his buddy were just bumming around after the seminar. So it was, uh, yeah, I do know Jeff Berwick, and he is a cool guy. And I'll just tell you right now, yeah, you want to have a beer with him. So let's go on with the Clary. I'll explain it very quickly. Remember, the Clary test is the biggest advancement in the field of political science because it's not really a legitimate field. So anytime anyone comes up with a simple observation that is based in truth, that is a huge advancement in current day political science studies. And uh, what I came up with was the Clary test, where I have four questions. One, do you come for money? You get a point, and that's bad. Two, did you major in something stupid? If you do, you get a point, and that's bad. Do you have no private sector, real-world working experience, like the military or the police, for example? If you don't, you get a point, and that's bad. And are you still currently a lazy, you know, non-profit, government, academia, lifelong politician? Fuck you get a point. So basically, it's a way that I use to figure out whether I'd even give the time of day to a particular politician, whether I trust them. Then I found out it's a really great way to judge people. And you know, you can't judge people. Yeah, you, yeah, you can. Actually, you can. And a great way to figure out if you'd want to go get a beer with someone. So let's do Jim Rogers first. If I recall, isn't he the guy that owns the... No, that's Steve Wynn. Who's Jim Rogers? Was he the actor turned... Jim Rogers, American businessman. Is this the actor that turned, he was like a mash. All right, James Beeland Rogers Jr., born 1942, American businessman, investor, traveler, financial commentator, and author based in Singapore. Yeah, Roger, bad at bow, boo -doo -boo, -doo boo He heads funds and he does all that stuff. Rogers does not consider himself a member of any school of economic thought, uh, but best labeled as art. Good, because there's no such thing. I hate it when economists do that. Like, well, I'm from the Neo Kinsey, and it's like, ah, shut the fuck up. It's, it's like, oh, I'm an anarcho-capitalist. I'm a socialist libertarian. It's like, no, you're a fucking nerd with a trench coat in high school who's got nothing else going on. All right. Uh, let's go to parents. Did he come from money? All it says is he was born in Baltimore, Maryland and raised in Demopolis bibliography. Oh... Uh, I don't know. It doesn't say. We'll look that up later. All right. Graduated bachelor's degree in history from Yale University. Unfortunately, he's old enough, 64. He went to college. He gets a point for that. He gets a solid point for that. It's a worthless degree. 66 that acquired a BA degree in philosophy, politics, and economy at University of Oxford. He's a coxswain in the boat race. All right. So he, he gets a point terribly. Sorry. Um, but he's not that young where he went, and anyone who went to school in 1930, well, that was a pretty big accomplishment. This guy in Benton, right off the bat, he didn't want to, he, he, he had lazy, he had lazy man syndrome. Uh, the fact he went to philosophy, politics, and economics at Oxford, back in those days, economics was thrown into all that, and eh, back then in 66, economics kind of was a real degree. I mean, maybe I want to take about a quarter point off of it, but no, once you go and get a degree in history, it's like, yeah, you're just lazy. So he gets a point. Career 64, he joined Dominic and Dominic on Wall Street, where he first learned to trade stocks and bonds. 66, 68, served as a draftee in the U.S. Army for Vietnam. 1970, he joins an investment bank, uh, where he worked with George Soros. The 73, Soros and Rogers both left and founded the Quantum Fund. Wow, 4,200%. <laughs> 1980, Rogers decided to retire, and he spent his time traveling on a motorcycle around the world. How fucking awesome is that? Uh, he's been a guest professor of finance at the Columbia School of Business. 89 to 90, he was a moderator. 92, he traveled around again on a motorcycle over 100,000 miles on six continents, which was picked up by the Guinness. Look at this guy. Here I am, like, worried, like, uh, can I make it around uh, Russia? 98, he founded a commodity index. 2002 to present. Let's see. God almighty. 
Beginning, here, we got to read this. Between January 1999 and January 5th, 2002, Rogers did another Guinness World Record journey through 116 cover, countries, covering 245,000 kilometers with his wife, Paige Parker, in a custom-made Mercedes. Uh, so was it a custom-made Mercedes motorcycle? Was she following him in a Mercedes trip again in Iceland? Back in New York City. Oh, I got to read about that. His route uh, and around the world can be viewed on his website, Jim Rogers. Who I thought he was just like this old investment dude. That is that is fucking cool. Okay, now I got a new hero. Uh, 2002 to present on his return. 2002, Rogers became a regular guest on Fox News and Cavito. Ba ba da ba ba da ba da ba. Sold his mansion in 2007 for 16 million. Moved to Singapore. Uh, daughters speak from a fluent fan. Da, 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 da. Yeah, so what do you know what personal life? Two daughters, financial life, married three times. Divorce, my pay, they have two daughters. All right, um, he gets a point for majoring something stupid. He's worked a real job his entire life. He earned his money so he could retire as early as he wants to drive around the, the world on a motorcycle. I gotta figure out how he did that. That was the other thing. People were like, hey man, did you see, was it the long way around? Uh, it was with um, the actor that played Obi-Wan Kenobi. Train spotting guy. And and I'm like, no, and that gave me the idea, well maybe I could ride around the, the world, you know? I just take a, a ferry from here to Vladivostok and then I hop on my motorcycle and go, I was like, no. He did it because he had like all this money and he had a team following him and then there's parts where the road was washed out. Like, you need money to do this. Uh, let's look up Jim Rogers' childhood. Okay. Jim Rogers, born, father was a plant, plant manager at a chemical factory. Uh, you know, manager at a chemical factory. He wasn't starving, but he didn't come from wealth either, so he doesn't get a point. All right, so... He didn't come from wealth, zero points. He made you something stupid, he gets a point. What has he been doing since? Every fucking thing you and I wish we could be doing. He is a real man. Uh, he gets he gets a, a, a zero. I'm sorry, he gets a point of one. He gets a score of one, uh, which is still really good. Uh, but given his motorcycling and adventure, this guy knows about life. He made his money, he says, fuck this, I'm going to go have fun. And uh, absolutely, hell yes, I would love to have a beer with this guy. And then, hell yes, he should run for office. He absolutely should. But I think he's smart enough not to. Why would he go run for public office in the United States if he's in Singapore and he's having fun with his family and his life? This guy, this is the type of guy who has so much going on in his life, it'd be a step down for, to run for president. Um, I don't know if you, like, in two podcasts or so, I've been kick, I kicked around, like, hey, you know, maybe I could run for governor just for fun in Minnesota and just fuck shit up. And then it dawned on me, oh, shit, what if I actually won? Then I'd have a real job, and I'd have to answer to people, and I guess they want you to show up at like 8 a.m. or something. I don't know. Uh, no, no, no. This guy knows. He, he's made his money. He's having as much fucking fun as possible. This is the type of guy that you would have to beg and plead to come and run, and he'd still refuse it because he's like, no, my life is too important. I got too much shit going on. So that's Jim Rogers. All right, Jeff Berwick. Now, I know he's he's gone on some crazy adventures himself, too. I'm just going to tell you right now, you're gonna wanna have a, you'll want to have a beer with Jeff Berwick. Berwick. There's old Jeff. All right. Let's go to Wikipedia. Uh, born 1970, Canadian entrepreneur, libertarian, and anarcho-capitalist activist. Berwick founded Stockhouse, a penny stock promotion and marketing site, which he would later sold. He was later an investor in Bitcoin, appearing publicly on Fox News and Mainstream Pet Press. Also appears on Bloomberg and discusses Bitcoin. Uh, an archipelago, dollar vigilante. Yeah, he's been, I know he's worked a real job all of his life. I know he's currently working real shit now. He did have an investment. Was that the Anarchopelago? No, that wasn't it. It was even earlier than that. Was he in software? He was, it was kind of like Stefan Molino. He was in software IT. Or, don't quote me on it. He made his money. I'll tell you the story. And he just was bored. He's like, I, what am I? So he just walked to an airport and says, where's the next flight? Like, what's a flight I can get on? And that sent him around this world travel. And yeah, Jeff is, Jeff is definitely an interest. Yeah, here's the sailing part where he, um, he told us a story there too, where he got, he got stranded basically. 
Um, so he, he is definitely an adventurer so on that. Uh, I don't think... He may not... He, does he have a degree? All right, nothing's on his real Wikipedia page. Let's, let's see what he's got for a degree. He may not have... Uh, let's take a look. He lives down in Mexico with his wife. Um, is there a bio? I don't think there is. Okay, here we go. Founder, editor, a newsletter. It's all the stuff he's doing now. Bear with me, guys. Financial markets funding la Canada's largest financial website, Stockhouse.com, in 1994. Okay, so that's why he's late in the 90s worldwide. Market capitalization, 240000 So he was CEO in 1994. So he was 24 at the time when he started that. Okay, he sold it. It's in nearly countries in five years, right? Expatriated. Um, I don't think he has a degree. I'm pretty sure he doesn't. I could be wrong. So he's not, he's going to get zero for the degree. Does he come from wealth? I don't think so. I actually don't think so. He, then that's the thing. If, if it's not up or we can't find it. Um, entrepreneurs at the age of 24 don't do that unless your name's Bill Gates of course so until we find out otherwise he did not come from money zero points he did not major in anything stupid zero points busted his ass off ever since since 1994 at the age of 24 yeah so Jeff Berwick gets a perfect score perfect score of zero which is the best score you can get and um, I wonder if I did have a beer with Jeff or I was just playing sober cab I think I was playing sober cab yeah we went to a party in Dallas and there was the girls are tall in Dallas. Let's just put it that way. So, uh, yeah, but Jeff Berwick, I can personally attest to, would you like him to run for office? Hell yes. Will he? Fuck no. He, he, you're, it's not worth serving uh, the people. Um, and I think he's kind of checked out. He's gone He's gone galt. He's down there in Mexico with his wife and enjoying life. Uh, but yes, definitely an interesting fellow. Um, good speaker, but definitely someone you'd love to hang out with as well. So... Uh, anyway, all right, that's it. That's all we got. If you want me to uh, professionally administer the Clary test on people, you can go to assholeconsulting.com, and the old captain will do that for you. Check out the books over at amazon.com, and tune in to the latest podcast. I have a new episode post today on the Clary podcast. I had to do one before I took off. I'm going on a motorcycle ride. Not as far as Mr. Rogers. Fraction of it, actually. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to go down to, uh, I'm going to go follow the Mississippi down. A ways a little bit. So, all right, that's all we got. We'll see you kids later. Toodles.